Right then, good evening. Yes, it is good evening. So what should we do? I know, we were said, we were said, we were said, we were talking earlier. We were said in earlier. That uh, we ought to give these, uh, which is a bit of an outing, friends of uh, Merle Mugwort, and a little common that I've been informed now is only 10, instead of the usual 13, I believe, because of the cutbacks and the social distancing. It does make it easier when you're hiring a minibus, apparently. It has to be said. And that would be a sight to behold, wouldn't it? Thirteen, or even ten witches in a minibus. Well, I suppose if for any reason they couldn't fly, it'd be kind of handy, wouldn't it? I know Myrtle is a former world champion. At broom skiing. And that's quite a, quite a thing to behold, that is. Especially when she starts doing the tricks, you know. Oh. I mean, yeah, I use water that well. Now, all that really tells is you actually tie. Tie, you fix. A ski. Or, indeed, a broom to each foot. And really, that's it. And away you go. See, that's the basic idea of doing a witch's face. And it's a bit of fun, isn't it? And I think we could have this one riding a broom for a change. Now, her head's going to come down like that. So really, her back's going to be out here somewhere. Like so. And she's going to be lent a little bit on the old forward side. Because this, admit it, this is this witch. As you can see by the position she's taking, is a bit of a speed. Nah. Freak, dude. Whatever you want to say, really. And now, a body would come around like that. Uh, if we put our hands coming down like this, this is going to be where the broom's going to go. You see? Now what we're going to do, we're going to turn this paper on its side. Because apart from anything else, I find it easier to draw the line, you see. Of course, this broom does not have to be uniform in the interest of making life easier for me. And the other thing I was saying to you yesterday with these characters. There we go. That gives you the general idea. I'll put a bit of a leaf getting blown inside out here. Like so. Now, we're going to have to put a little bit of a buckle in here, eh? Like I say, all the details really you can add to later. The main thing we're trying to do now. You 
is get the fact that she's uh, she's got to try and get where the legs are going to go you see because one thing you don't find many witches doing and this one is no exception you don't very often find them being lady like right inside saddle so we give that calf a bit of shape coming down to the foot like so and then we're going to have the other leg coming down this side maybe that can go straight out and we can have a bit of fun help me right so like I said, you can do it around with these to your heart's content. Which I think we're going to have to. To get this to look right, I think. Now, it's got to look right to your eye. Now, whether it's actually right per se, if it's right to your eye, then it's right. That's what I tend to think of these things. I don't think that really makes any sense. What I've just said. But I'll try and explain it a bit more. When I'm drawing something, I look at, if I'm drawing still life, a flower or something, I will look at it sat in his jar or on the table or whatever it is and you see the image you want to draw or the likeness you want to get but when you come to draw it Maybe sometimes it doesn't always work out quite the way you want it to. I'm talking nonsense now. I'll oh, shut up. What I'm trying to say in a roundabout clumsy way is you don't really want to go flying on one of these things and have the bloke that's drawing you talk nonsense to you. Uh, we're going to have this cat sat here, so I don't know if we can. I don't know if that's going to work out terribly well. Now, he's not looking exactly happy about what's going on. As you can imagine. Now, we've got to bear in mind with this, is I'm doing this straight from memory. And I'm not sure that was such a good idea. Let's, let's have a bit of fun here. We're going to put the cap, we think, into some flying goggles. Right, so, so there he is. His little nose coming down there like that. And of course, then he's got to get his ears in. Right, so I mean we all see cats, I mean there are cats. Pits that's one thing there isn't short of on the internet is pictures of cats, I don't think. I think maybe we've done this a bit small to draw these things here, but anyway. You get the gist. You get the gist. 
Now, once you've got your ship established, you can start to put in your know, sort of fur effects around the edges, which always helps with a witch and a cat. Because really, these fellas that live with these witches a very rarely in a uniform way drawn. I don't know, that's not far of it, is it? I don't know. Well, you have a go, see what happens. Now, if we rub these lines up, that probably help. Oh, dear me. I had a curry for tea. And i got to be honest with you. I'm not sure it's a good idea. So, anyway, there's your witch. And she's flying. Now, I just think, maybe as we're going to do it this way, we ought to do something about this air, because she's flying through the air at a rate of stop. Yeah, that's what they call it, and the witch flies. It's not knots, because that's what they use on sea. It's a rate of snots. Now, if you can't work that out for yourself, I'm not going to explain to you what that means. Now, the thing about witches acts, and you're thinking, you say, well, how's he doing that? Because she's flying straight like that at a great rate of knots. And her art looks perfectly all right. Well, see, now this is where you're coming into the realms of the old magic, you see. Let me get my little brush. Let's have a bit of a sweep up and a bit of clear up. That's it. That's what you want to do. Now, let's have a look at this picture a bit closer now. What we've got to try and do is we've got to try and put a little nose in here somehow. And then going up to there. And part of the cat face is coming down there, and then the other part. This, I'm afraid, is taking on more characteristics of a dog than a cat. And we don't quite know why that should be. I mean, it's the shape of the face we've done. But, uh, hey ho, let's try and keep it as a cat if we can. Just take this ear off a bit, move it round a bit more, I think. And we, like I said before, you keep going to a certain degree changing these things. Now, I think it's because we've gone too far forward with that nose. I really do think that's what's doing it. I think if we bring it down more, so it's more. No. I think it's this bit here that causes the trouble. Like I said, I've made a rod for my own back here by drawing this too small, I think. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to spend a great deal of time on it. Because. As per usual, I'm very conscious of the time. But what I might do some days is do this picture again. And maybe it might be an idea to do it on a slightly bigger piece of paper. So you can have the old skirt flapping a bit around this side as well. Because that's what it would do. We put a bit of petticoat showing. There we go. How about that? Now, the other leg we said was going to come straight out. So we've got to get roughly where the knee is. Rather shapely leg, actually. Then again, I don't know. Maybe not. She's certainly showing a bit of leg, isn't she? And we got her tights on, so that's all right, because I should imagine whizzing around up there in that sky, she might need that. 
Like, do you think? I don't know. I've never actually, well, I tell a lie. I have flown a broom, but that was quite a long time ago. And I was quite a bit younger than I am now. And I'll tell you about that story another day. Now, this day, we got to get the, we got to get the, I think once we get the tight, so we'll be there. About, but remember, this is a cartoon drawing anyway. We're having a bit of fun. If it does, if it doesn't work out quite right, like I said to you, that's what happens sometimes. They don't always work. They don't always work. It sometimes looks better when it's put on a computer. I don't quite know why that should be. And it's probably... Because when you put a picture onto a computer, and this is something you ought to remember if you're actually buying art as well, is that it's usually backlit. It's on a lit up screen. So the picture you look at on a computer screen, you think, oh, I'll have that, that's nice. I'm going to have that on my wall over there. You have to bear in mind that when you get it, it may not be quite as bright on your wall as it was on the computer screen. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything funny going on there, because there isn't. That's not the fault of the artist. That actually is just how the chat technology works. I think we're going to have to agree that this witch is possibly flying. With... A pet... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we, we have one little go at doing that. Moving that nose up, maybe that's... Uh, now, that's a bit better, isn't it? Now, we move that little nose up there a bit more. If we actually just put a little bit in that side that you'd see, then that side... Yeah, I think that's getting a bit closer because we could always put... So if you do that with a few lines, that gives the old cat the old tabby effect. Doesn't it? Now that's looking something like it, isn't it? Oh yes, I think we could live with that. I think so. See, this is what it takes sometimes, just to have to keep going up for the best. You see, and there we are. We put a few dots right here for his face, because that's where his... Uh, now we're getting there. We could probably take that bit out from there, actually. I'm not sure it's going to clear up, clean up that well. I got a new propellant pencil here that I'm using, and I'm not sure that the rubber or eraser, if you like, is quite up to scratch. I don't know, but that what it seems like to me. Now I just had a little bit of a beep come through there and I don't know what that was about. I shall have to investigate that in a minute. Oh, there we are. That's uh, a notification somebody wants to talk to me or indeed they are talking to me I always remember Stephen Fry once talking about how rude a telephone is because you have it in your house and it starts to ring 
and it's almost saying, talk to me now, talk to me now, which incredibly is incredibly rude, isn't it? I don't know, I think it is. You see, because his hair, at this witch, is going to be flying backwards, isn't it? Because even, oh, I don't know, witches, we do one little wispy bit coming around, if you like, because he's quite wiry, a witch's hair. So, we're going to have this all swept back here. Because I'm not going to colour this. This is going to be a completely pencil drawing, I think. And I will check and let you know who this is. Because, like I said, we've been having a bit of trouble. No, 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 it's not Myrtle. It's not Myrtle. It wouldn't be Myrtle. Not, not, not flying a broom like that. It wouldn't. She's, she's a, oh. She's a world champion. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. She knows, when it comes to broom, she knows her way around a broom. I mean, most witches do. But, well, because that's their main mode of transport, isn't it? Well, I did know one once who lived quite near me that had a bubble car. Now, they were quite cute. Was, I don't know. If you don't know what a bubble car is, I suggest you look it up on Google. Google bubble car. And it was all oh, like a little little car. Single seat car. And uh, they were quite a lot of fun for the person that had it. I know the person I knew that had one. She loved that bubble car. Now, the only thing with a bubble car in... They didn't have, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure this is true, a reverse gear on a bubble car. So if you park somewhere, because the door opened at the front, you see, that's how you got in and out. It's just the, the front opened up. And out you hopped. Now the thing is, if somebody parked in front of you, up against the door, practically. You couldn't get out. You were absolutely trapped in your bubble car. And that was that. Until said person came and moved their car. I mean, if you drove into anywhere, like a garage, you had to make sure you didn't park too close to the end of the garage because if you did you were going to spend your rest of your life in that garage if you had a bubble car yeah they were they were around in the 60s really one of those trendy little fashion things they brought out really i, sh I should imagine for driving around the inner cities you know like they did i think there was a chap an inventor back in the 70s and 80s, I think. Might have gone into the 90s, called Sinclair. I don't know if you remember the thing he brought out. Called, I think it was called a C5. And by now, everybody in the world was going to be driving one of them, according to him. And that was a single seater little car thing that... Well, it's quite low. I mean, it'd be very dangerous if you were going to drive that on the same road where there's lorries. Because I actually saw a clip the other day of a lorry busy driving along a road, and he completely unaware that he had one of these little cars no, that people drive trapped under the front of this lorry, and he was just pushing it along the road. And when they finally managed to stop him, he didn't know it was there. Now, can you imagine that? That would be frightening, wouldn't it? Can you imagine being sat in that little car? Now, there we are. That's not far off, is it? What do you think? Now, we're going to have to put... So, so what we do...
with it is, is just we put some lines around like that for the broom you see and then we can just bring out a few twigs like so you see what I'm doing there that, and that gives you the effect of your broom and the twigs that come out of it you see like so and I hope you had fun watching this if you did Please subscribe to my page because there will be other droids like this. Especially the witches. I should be doing lots of more witches. Because we like the witches. And to be honest with you, they like having their picture done. And as I found out yesterday, if they don't get their own way, they can they can sulk. Well, not all of them because some, some of them don't want you to draw their picture. They'd rather stay unnoticed by the rest of the world but of course as in the human world there are some that want to be noticed all the time I don't know how that saying goes I was trying to say it yesterday needy baby is it needy baby greedy baby I don't know something like that I think Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. I think so. I think that's going to be about it. Don't you? I don't think we need to do any more than that. I think this way we give a bit of a signature to you as well, so we just sign it. Because I think I could probably turn this into a card, this one. And it's 2020, isn't it? That's right. And it's a Tuesday still. Okie dokie, there you are. Which, on a broom, with a cat clinging on her back. I ain't not a do. Okie dokie, take care, and I'll talk to you again soon.